Hi everyone. Today we are going to find out more about something we take into our body every day. What's that? That's food. What happens to the food you eat? Let's go and find it out. Mmm, look at all this food. They are looking so delicious and mouth-watering too, aren't they? Why does saliva come to your mouth when you see this kind of delicious food? Your brain is yelling that we are going to eat this. Then salivary glands agree with this and eagerly pumping saliva into your mouth. And so many other changes take place in your body. Isn't this interesting to know? This food simply digested by the mouth enters the other parts of the digestive tract. Lot of changes are happening along this path. We'll learn about them one by one. First we'll see what digestion is. Breaking down food into simple substances is called digestion. The system in our body which helps in this function is called digestive system. Many changes take place in the food you eat along the digestive tract. Let's see the main functions of the digestive system. Complex food cannot be directly absorbed to the body. So it is converted into simple substances first. Then those simple substances are absorbed to the body. Digestion occurs in two ways. Biomechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Let's see a simplified process of food digestion. First, complex food is broken into small food particles by mechanical digestion. This is mainly done by teeth. Then those small food particles are chemically digested by digestive juices. Finally, the simple food is absorbed to the body. Here are the main parts of our digestive system. Mouth cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and anus. The first step of digestion is done by teeth and tongue with the help of saliva. Teeth can tear, crush and grind food. It mixes with saliva and chemical digestion is started. This is done by an enzyme called amylase. Then the food bolus is pushed to a tube called esophagus. Food is pushed to the stomach through the esophagus by peristalsis movement. Stomach is a muscular sac. Digestion is efficient due to acidic nature of the digestive juices. Food is stored in the stomach for about 3 hours. Then food is digested further by mixing of digestive juices in the stomach. Liver is an organ which produces bile, which is another digestive juice. Liver has two lobes. There are many other functions performed by the liver other than producing bile. Gallbladder is a pear-shaped small organ. Its function is storing the bile produced by the liver and secrete it to the small intestine. Pancreas is located behind the stomach in upper left abdomen. It produces pancreatic juices and releases to the small intestine. Small intestine is the longest tube in the digestive tract. It's about 6 meters long. Digestion is completed there. Many nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. Finger-like projections called villi have emerged in the upper inner surface of the tube. 
villi increases the surface area of the inner layer of the small intestine and makes the absorption of nutrients more efficient. Large intestine is about 1 meter long. It's a broad tube and found nearly 100 billion bacteria. Mainly absorption of water takes place there. The lower end of the large intestine makes the rectum and anus. The undigested parts are removed out as feces by anus. If you are not careful enough to maintain a healthy food pattern, you will have to face a lot of problems related with organs in the digestive system. Here are the most common diseases in the digestive tract. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, diarrhea, constipation, gastroenteritis, ulcers and hemorrhoids. Here are some measures you can take to maintain a healthy digestive system. Always eat healthy food. Get plenty of food with fiber. Then drink more water. When eating, chew your food well to make the digestion easy. And be mindful when you eat. Don't get stressed and ditch bad habits like consuming alcohol or skipping your breakfast. If you follow this, you will gain lot of benefits and lead a healthy and happy life without diseases. Hope you gathered some knowledge from this video. Thank you for joining with us. Let's meet again with another lesson on Splendid Science Club.